Alright, I know that Dr. Bass has his video of how to disassemble these Makita uh, lithium ion case, but I noticed what I noticed is uh, recently there's actually new versions and they're a little different than what he has on his video base back on 2009, I believe, on the YouTube channel. So I have two here, two packs. And the reason why I have two packs is one of them actually was already disassembled just to make sure that it's one of the newer kinds as opposed to the older one. As you can see, the only difference is I removed this white package, uh, this, this white safety piece here. And I'll show you how to totally fully disassemble this. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, before, we're going to make sure that this pack is actually worth opening. Because if it's not, there's no point, right? So there's zero bolts here, two probes. I'll stick them in here. I can. This one right there. And there, this one there. As you can see, it's 12.91. So it's pretty decent. It's uh, got some definitely good cells in there, if not all of them. Okay, so let's get start. Let's get started. We have this white piece here. We need to remove that. So what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna this plastic piece. All it is is just covering the hole so that you can't you know, open it with the secure star that I have here. Um, but before we get any further. See what you need. You need a screwdriver. You need the secure star, and here I have it. Uh, it's basically a star with a little hole in the center. You're gonna need some cutting tools. Um, I use this heavy-duty cutting tools. They're used to cut wires and uh, other sheet metal. You got yourself um, just a regular long, long old pliers, the, the small ones, so that you can actually bend and uh, pre precisely move stuff. Uh, I have this tools that I don't know exactly what it's called. Uh, it's, it's only use for it is to remove that white piece inside. And that, as you can see, it's kind of bent a little bit because I've been removing quite a bit of things. But it, it's just to stick it in and pull that, that white piece out once you, you open it up. And of course, your cutting tools. Any of this, this is just a wire, typical wire cutting tools. So that's pretty much all you need that I've done so far. So let's get started. We got white stuff we need to remove so I'm gonna go ahead and use a screwdriver and what I'm gonna do is I'm just poke it through in here and just twist and essentially what I'm doing is I'm making a hole inside there as you can see there's a hole there now once I got that hole open then I can go ahead and use this and remove it and it's okay so that's what it is. It's a little piece that just covers it. What I, again, what I did is I punctured it with a screwdriver and used this tool to pull it out. This tool is kind of bent now. I might have to bend it back. So once that's removed, go ahead and use your secure star and remove all the pieces. All right. So anyway, that's that. Okay, remove this. Good. It's one of those versions that are pretty nice. And, I'll, and these are pretty quickly, easily disassembled, more simpler than the other ones. Now, I don't have, notice I don't have a soldering iron like some of the previous video from Dr. Bass. And the reason is you don't need it. So, the first thing you need to do, go ahead and remove the spring, remove the case, use your cutter. Uh, make sure you're very careful not to short anything out. I've some of the early ones I've short some stuff out, you know, some sparks here and there. Batteries are fine though. So the first thing I would do is just cut this piece here. All right. Um, at this point, you could actually remove this piece, this whole thing. As you can see, it's a little dirty, but uh, it should be okay. Some powder there. And the reason why I did that was I that way you can remove this plastic here. Not plastic, just paper, sticky paper film. So that's that. Now, as you notice, I cut that piece out, and after doing so, I can actually bend this. And usually, what I like to do is just get rid of these as much metal as possible because that way 
you have no risk of shorting things out. Now it comes to the hard part, and you got to be careful with this here. So I'm going to use this cutter here, wire cutter. And as you can see, um, there's these pieces that are connected. And what you want to do is, you know, dis dis cut them and disconnect them. Now the, you got to be careful because you don't want to damage these these skin here, this uh, green skin. So usually what I do is I cut it right at the edge, and it comes off really nice. Uh, this is when you use this to kind of separate it. You don't want it to be con touching anything else. And once you do that, just kind of bend this back so you guarantee that it doesn't actually get touched by anything else. Similarly, just do it for all the four corners. So that's that. Um, once that's removed, you go ahead and bend this by. And again, you want to get rid of this because you don't need this top part, the electronic circuitry. So just cut, go ahead and cut this. All right. So now that's pretty much the battery. You know, you don't even have to screw, remove the screw because you don't care about it. And this is all the other parts. Okay. So you got your screws and all that stuff. Set it all aside. Now comes the hard and long part. So these new batteries, they have these cover, uh, these like slots that you know prevent you from you know breaking them apart. Even in the older older model, it's it's they have that, and it's pretty difficult to remove them while you still have it. Now you know some people online they said you know or Dr. Basil believes said just use a Dremel tool and cut this, uh, but uh, if you do cut it, you got to be very careful because if you do cut these uh, and you know, you damage the skin. Uh, this again is positive, touching the negative terminal, which is okay here. But if you damage like uh, one of these, you damage one of this side, then it's kind of like a short from this positive to this guy, so shorting the cell out. So I didn't like that. Um, oh, and by the way, you can actually remove these guys by just bending them back and forth. They, you don't need them; they're going to get in your way afterwards. So, but you should get the point if you. Anything under the skin is, is negative, and just that top part is the positive part. So if you use a Dremel tool and you cut things, and like I said again, you, let's say for instance you cut this, you see this top part is uh, the positive, this is positive, you kind of Dremel through it, and then suddenly you, you, know, you expose a, then a negative part here somehow when you cut it, and boom, it's a short there, possibly, uh, uh, especially if you use a magnet Dremel tool, it might, uh, a metallic one, it might short it out and, and you ideally don't want to damage that. Um, so the way I went go around that is um, actually you know break them into pieces. Now I'm not going to break them into tiny pieces but you'll see what I mean. So the way I like to, to attack this problem is uh, since the negative side there's no positive so there's no way that you can actually short the cell out even if you cut into the green skin. So that's the way I'm going to go ahead and since this first one is pretty nice because it's uh, make sure that it's, again it's the negative side there's this little dot in the center here, so you just kind of just stick it in there with your cutting tool and just cut that out there. And similarly for the other side. And that. Now, it's possible you've you done, done some damage on it, but who cares? It's the negative side. Once you get that, you got their thing exposed. Again, these two guys are connected, and so you don't have to worry about it, but again, still be careful. Use your cutting tool and go ahead and separate them. Oh, this thing is not good. Okay, so you got removed. Similarly, um, go ahead and do the same thing to this side. Now, this side has this thing. So again, you don't want to short this guy to this guy because that's that's a closed loop there. So you got to be careful when you bend this guy back. Um, the reason why I do that is because this makes my cutting job easier. Do the same thing. Again, always on the negative side, never on the positive side. Because I tried it with the positive side once and you cut into the green stuff, especially when you have a metallic cutter like this, you will short stuff out. Sometimes all you need is just that and go ahead and use this thing to bend it and cut things out, you know, split these things open. So, as you can see, I haven't damaged any of the green stuff on there, but it's possible that you know when you do it quickly, uh, you 
cut it into it. Again, use this. And again, you have to be careful not to short anything out. Keep the cutting to the minimum. So that's two right there. And again, always on the negative side. Anyways, um, as you can see, continue the process here. And all I'm doing is just cutting the last section here. Alright, so once that's done, so anyways, that's that. You got this cover. You're, going, you're welcome to use it again um, once you reassemble your battery. But now that they're all separated, there's quote unquote not really separated, uh, there's still some connection here. But you get the point. Okay, so um, at this point, what I'd like to show now is how to get them into this form. This is kind of a one I did done before. It's pretty nice because you know now it's already a solder, especially in the top, the positive part. Remember, the positive part is not the one that you cut. You can just solder wire in the center. That way, you don't damage the cell. And on the downside, on the the negative side, yeah, I, I've done something like this so that again. Uh, Dr. Bay said you, you don't want to you know solder directly on these cells because it damaged them. So you know these folds on these me metallic uh, metallic pads, I guess, uh, will prevent that. So you know what you want to do is just solder a wire. I'm not going to do that in this video yet because I'm still in the process of disassembling all the cells, so uh, all the packs. So what you do is just solder a wire across, and now you got you know your two two by two, and then of course you can kind of stack them together however you like them. Okay, so the way you do that, you probably could figure this out yourself. Um, let's actually start with something a little easier. Uh, this one. So as you can see, it's pretty nasty, all cut up and everything. Um, this one's probably not a good one either. Uh, this one might be okay. Hopefully you guys can see it, and, and I'll show you why. Okay, so you have your cells here; it's all broken up. Um, as you can, as you notice, there's uh, some metal on this side so these are the four spot spot welded connectors uh, connection and this side has a lot of you know metal on it this other side has pretty much and the reason why I, I bring that up is because eventually you want to fold this into what I, I showed before and in order to do that you need some metal uh, so what I like to do in this case is since this is like a really sharp edge there I'm just gonna remove some of it and the way you remove them is not to actually cut it. That way, you, if you do that, you might risk cutting into the green cells, even though this is the negative side. Um, but the best way to remove these guys are just to fatigue the metal a little bit by bending it back and forth, and you're able to remove it nicely. You got a clean cut there. Since you're not using this part, I, I'm going to do the exact same on this side. So. Remove that. Um, there's this little sharp edge here, and that's where I'm going to use this cutter. Just cut it. I just don't like sharp edges here because it might cut into other things when when you mess around with them. So now that they're all nice and everything, just kind of bend them one here with this needle nose plier, and similarly on the other side. Again, this is negative, so you don't have to worry too much. As you can see, I kind of probably damage the skin a little bit there while I'm doing this but it's okay and so once you got that you know go ahead and push down on the ground the table and it's a pretty good flat piece there you can do the same on this side and the last part is just you know on the top part I, I usually just fold this down like this um, there's some part I need to cut off but you get the point and then you just push against the table so it's flat so it looks something like this once you have that, then you know you're pretty much set. Um, that way you don't have to solder these two guys together. Anyways, hopefully that wasn't too long. I'll try to speed up some parts and slow down some more of the crucial parts so you can see. But that's how you disassemble the, some of the newer ones. And in fact, there's actually a newer one. I don't have it with me right now. Um, when you open one of these newer ones, there's actually they make it really hard for you to take up to salvage the cells. I think it's probably because you know too many people are 
taking advantage of this and getting the cells and selling on eBay or something. But yeah, this this one one this the new one it's like essentially this, but the whole plastic is enclosed, and then these metal uh, solders are actually on the outside. So in order to get them get to them, you literally have to cut them all out up, cut everything up. And then like literally get the cells individually you can't really unless you find a way to break the plastic without damaging the cells or something i have to figure that out there's only a few of those that i've seen so um, most of them are, are like this and hopefully this video was useful for you guys um, and let me know if you yeah